Hi there and welcome to Schoology Training. In this video, we're going to set up Schoology to mirror the gradebook traditional grade calculations in PowerTeacher Pro so that we can begin grade passback between the Schoology and the PowerTeacher Pro gradebook. So the first step that you need to take is you need to make sure that you've got the traditional grade calculations set up and ready to go completely in PowerTeacher Pro before you start looking at this in Schoology. All right, so just to make sure that we're all on the same page, I've got it set up, and the main thing you got to worry about here is the, the quarters. They need to match exactly. So, and also, just as a quick warning, this is going to look different depending on your school's administration and level. So don't go by what you see here. Make sure that you confirm your grade calculations and how they need to be with your department head and, more importantly, the principal of your school. So now we've got that all said, we're going to make sure that the grade calculations here mirror or are mirrored exactly the same in Schoology. So we just want to verify just by clicking in to make sure that we are working with the same stuff. And it looks like the way it's set up in this particular classroom is you've got category weights with formative and summative, formative at 40 and summative at 60% of the overall grade. Now that we've got the traditional grade calculations set up 100% in PowerTeacher Pro, Let's come to the Schoology course that we're going to set up, and let's look at grade setup. So again, this is the exact same Schoology course that we were just looking at in PowerSchool. So this one did sync over from PowerSchool, and you can see that the, the grading periods are there. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the categories to match PowerTeacher Pro. So we're going to click on Add, and then we're going to name it Formative. We're going to make it Percent. And then we're going to add some of it, and we're going to make it percent. But we're not done yet. Now we need to weight the categories, and we need to make the weights exactly the same here as they were in PowerTeacher Pro. So formative in this case was 40, and summative in this case was 60%. Now that we've got this set up, I'm going to scroll down and click on Save Changes. Finally, this brings us to the PowerSchool app. So the PowerSchool app shows up over here on the left, if it's been enabled by your district. If it has not yet been enabled by your district, you're not going to see it here. Since it's been enabled, we're going to click on the PowerSchool app, and it's going to default us to the configuration settings. Now, everybody needs to check this box because really, I, in my experience, I've noticed that this actually happens with less than 50 characters. But what will happen is if there's too many characters in the title, it's not going to sync over properly and it's going to cause a lot of confusion. So everyone needs to check this box. And then where it shows Schoology course categories, you need to map them exactly to the PowerSchool categories that are showing in your PowerSchool. You can see that the teacher has set up formative and summative as active categories in PowerTeacher Pro. Now, if you're not seeing them here, you need to go into PowerTeacher Pro and you need to look at the category settings and make sure that those categories are set as active and not inactive. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to map them exactly as we set it up in the gradebook in the Schoology grade settings. And then we're going to click on Save Changes. Your category configurations have been saved. So just to make sure that it's up and running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an assignment to the course. We're going to set a due date for August the 17th. And we're going to set a category and we're going to make it formative. And then we're going to hit create. So now we're seeing our formative example showing up in Schoology. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here to the PowerSchool app, which is now going to default to the sync grades. And we're going to see that formative example is not yet synced. I'm going to click on the action button. You can click on sync changes. We just got to make sure that you see that it is in fact syncing and it's queued. And you want to wait until the status shows it has completely synced and the last successful sync is going to show the date and the time. So now that it has successfully synced, I'm seeing the time that it synced. Now this is the important thing is if it had not synced correctly, it would say that there was an error. And if you hovered over the action, it would actually tell you what the error was. Usually it's going to be because you either didn't check the box to shorten the titles or because the category in the assignment isn't mapped. And so all you have to do is just add the category to the ungraded assignment. And usually those will solve your sync issues. So now if we go back into PowerTeacher Pro, we can see that in fact, the formative example did sync directly into PowerTeacher Pro. So as you can see, 
This setup, this integration is extremely simple if you set it up right on the back end. And as long as everything looks the same, your grades should mirror one another. Power Teacher Pro is the ultimate. This is where you go to see your grades. Schoology is going to do exactly what Power Teacher Pro does based on those calculations. Now, as one final caveat, I want to make sure that you're aware that anything you do in Power Teacher Pro is not going to go reverse to Schoology. Schoology is a one way street to Power Teacher Pro. So, if you're going to use this grade passback feature, you need to make sure that you're putting all your grades in Schoology first and then syncing it. That even includes things like having to change due dates or having to regrade assignments. If you make those changes to the original assignment in Schoology and then resync, it's going to automatically make that change to the same assignment in Power Teacher Pro. But if you delete something out of Power Teacher Pro, it would not in turn delete out of Schoology. So that's very important to know. Thank you very much. I hope this video was helpful for you. And please feel free to reach out to your curriculum technology specialist if you have any further questions or issues with this integration. See you in the next video. So now you've set up Schoology Passback, I want to just give you a little bit of bonus material here to help you with some thoughts that you need to consider while using the Schoology Grade Passback feature. Number one, if you use this feature, you should do all of your grading in Schoology. Don't use Power Teacher Pro some and then Schoology some. Commit to Schoology and then use the Grade Passback. This is going to solve any kind of grading issues or errors you may have with averages not being correct. Number two, Check Power Teacher Pro at least weekly to ensure that grades match perfectly. There could be some issues that happen, and if you're checking Power Teacher Pro, you're able to see them and be proactive about getting them fixed. Number three, if Power Teacher Pro shows a different average than what is in Schoology, this usually means something was regraded in Schoology and not synced again in Power Teacher Pro. Simply sync all the grades and verify the sync data, then double check that Power Teacher Pro matches the Schoology average. Number four, if you have a sync error, check the configuration to make sure that you have checked the box to shorten titles. Then check to make sure there's a category aligned to the assignment you're trying to sync. Number five, use due dates when you create assignments in Schoology. Not using a due date will default to the last day of the grading period of Power Teacher Pro. Number six, if you're using Schoology Grade Passback, don't make changes to assignments in Power Teacher Pro. If you need to make adjustments to due dates, grades, or any other assignment changes, make them in Schoology, then resync that assignment with PowerSchool. Number seven, if you need to delete an assignment altogether, first delete it in Schoology, then be sure to go into Power Teacher Pro Gradebook and delete it there. No changes made in Power Teacher Pro will be made in Schoology. Grade Passback is a one way street from Schoology to Power Teacher Pro.